Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, today we are back on Black Ops 4. Now, normally last two videos have been IW and that's just because I was... I was just simply enjoying that game and whatever game I enjoy, I, put, I post like... If I enjoy BO4, I post that. If I enjoy BO3, I post that. You basically get what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter. I'll just kind of um, post what I enjoy. Now, back on the Black Ops 4. Me contradicting myself massively there. Was I enjoying myself? Absolutely not. I don't enjoy myself playing BO4. But... If um, Operation Grand Heist came a new specialist, Outrider, so I thought I might as well give her a go. She might actually be some fun. There is a very small minute chance that she might actually be some fun. And that small minute chance actually came through. Outrider is actually really, 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 really fun. She's probably my new favourite specialist now for pubs. Obviously, she's not allowed in comp, but for pubs, she's definitely probably my new favourite specialist. And that's for two reasons. Obviously, there's only two reasons it can be, Jack. What are you talking about? But anyway. Main reason, Sparrow. Super, super overpowered. Super, super powerful. Aim assist is huge. Damage is ridiculous. Eight shots. It's really, really OP. You can, honestly, I'd say every time you use a Sparrow, unless obviously you get, get shot in the back or just get simply outgunned, like, you can pick up about four or five kills with every single Sparrow. Now, that is really good for a special weapon in this game. Normally, nothing's really going to get you that many kills apart from maybe the Purifier. Tempest possibly, but I find the Tempest inconsistent, but I think the killing power of the Sparrow is actually so, so good. Now, I'd say definitely recommend using that. It doesn't take much getting used to, like the learning curve is pretty simple to it. Like, the aim assist is so big and so strong, you don't really need to actually properly aim at people. Obviously, you can't look up the other direction and kill them, but you don't really have to aim. Like that kid there, he just got absolutely destroyed. Now... The other thing that makes Sparrow good is her piece of equipment which is called the Hawk. Now basically the Hawk is just a drone what you fly up in the um, sky and it's just basically a surveillance drone so you can see enemy movements. Now you can't actually see them as like Vision Pulse would or like anything from past God games. I believe it's called the Osp. It's, some, it's called, I don't know what it's called out of Ghosts but you Ghosts um, players you know exactly what I'm talking about. I believe it's called something like the Osprey or something like that. I could be completely wrong don't roast me. Now, what thing is, what you got to take notice is uh, where I park these Hawk drones in these gameplays. Like, I don't just throw them out of the sky randomly and just leave them there. You need to put them in high traffic areas or pl areas where you know people are going to run from and to. So, as you saw just then, I just placed it um, at the back of um, like the marker kind of spawn thing. And I know they'll run out of air at some point. Like, maybe it's not right now, but at some point they will run through that area. Obviously, they're going to get tagged by the drone, and then I can save them. I mean, only you can save them with Sparrow, like uh, Outrider. Sorry, it doesn't mark it for the whole team. But to be honest, if you're playing solo or in a two-man, like I was with Lun CMS gameplay, it doesn't really matter about obviously your whole team seeing them because, I mean, to be honest, who really cares? It's, it's your drone <laughs> for you. And then I'd say what goes hand in hand with this is UAV encounter. You don't really need lethal streaks with this because I mean I primarily use this for getting nukes and I would say this is probably the easiest specialist to get nukes with. Like if you factor in everything like look uh, again I just fly me drone up above that area because I know it's a high traffic area and I know at some point during this um, game we're going to like walk through that area and especially in, for this map in particular in TDM I find as if a lot of um, gunfights happen on this kind of uh, left side of a map where I am now so by parking me Hawk up there does sometimes mark a few people, which um, does save my life. So, yeah, I'd say definitely for getting nukes, this is probably the easiest way to go. I'd say before it was either crash or maybe then I was weird. It's just depending on your play style. Like, if you're a slow player, talk might be more beneficial to you. But if you're a fast Russian player, you might want something like Tempest, War Machine, or something like uh, Crash or Recon. Like, it's all personal preference obviously but in my opinion Sparrow and that uh, well Outrider Sparrow and the Hawk is definitely up there so I'd say definitely give it a try but obviously it's not as simple as just using it and just throwing the drone uh, uh, randomly you'll see in the summer gameplay as well that you need like I'll fly it outside of a map and it's just amazing for that maps like frequency is it's great for that too now I got a brutal with um 
uh, Outrider, I think, my second game using it on Payload, but obviously, I mean, I can't really show that. There's not much to show, but the Sparrow definitely really does help for just getting feeds. It is honestly so fun. Like, it, it, I'll put a clip in at some point in this video of a clip I got in Nuketown. It's actually so ridiculous. I just completely spun on some kid. Definitely my new favourite specials, just for having fun and just getting nukes as well. It just makes it a whole lot more fun and a whole lot easier. Now, the second gameplay will be um, live comm for the most part, obviously by me, I was playing with Lazarus on Summit. Now in the first gameplay I was using a SWAT with High Calibre, Extend Mag, Stock and Reflex. Now in this gameplay I was using the Swordfish with Hybrid Mags, FMG, I believe High Calibre and Reflex as well. And the thing is with Summit Nukes, it's actually kind of easy, you just kind of flip them from one side to the other again and again and again and again. Like you'll see through this I'll just keep running from one side to the other, um, like taking down the enemies. And that's where I park my drone, I park my drone, I think it's coming up about now, I'll just park my drone on the left side of the map and it'll just, I think it catches someone instantly um, and just obviously relays it back to me and then it's, it's an easy kill, so yeah, like just take notice of where you place on the drones, I can't stress that enough because if you, if you throw them out randomly and don't put any tactics behind it, it won't be good and you'll think it's terrible, like see there, we will run out of that spawn at some point, it will just continue to tag them and tag them and tag them again and again and again until the drone goes away. So yeah, having said that, thank you so much for watching this video, if this did make it any easier to either use Outrider or get nukes of Outrider or just make it more fun for your use in Outrider in general, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe or uh, tell me if you'd like to see something more like this, like for example when the next specialist comes out like say if the next specialist is reaper for example because i know it was a few leaks of that so would, would you like me to um break that down on how to get nukes easy with reaper how to play with them like slow fast whatever now that's just the concept obviously i'm always on fridays to post on my youtube channel so yeah just suggest things you might want to see and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching today's video and peace oh you bugger I get in so many fucking close gunfights, what I really shouldn't do. This is so OP, you can just see people through fucking 400 walls. What the- oh my- Oh, he's emotional. Has helped me. Don't know if bad people now. I know we're on that heady, but not something. Yeah, not something I want to push. I need to push it. No, that kid took me kill. That's actually a kill I needed a lot. Hey, got it. 